Hey everyone, so I'm back with another FDW portable wash machine video and in this video I'm showing you guys that this winter, this fall, you guys can wash your bedspreads. I do not suggest that you wash your comforters. No, this is not a comforter video. Uh, you would take your comforters to a laundry mat or wherever, but comforters are not for portable washing machines. They're too big. They're too thick. Okay, so I'm washing a fleece, full size slash queen size bedspray slash cover, however you say it. So, okay, I'm getting started um, washing my cover. Remember, this is fleece. It's not a throw cover that you throw across your bed or that you throw across your couch. No, it's not one of those. It's a full-size bed spread. This you can use in the fall or the winter, but mainly in the fall because it's not that heavy. You would want to use a comforter in the winter time. So being that the fall is coming up, I've decided to do a video showing you guys that you can actually wash your fleece cover slash bedspread inside of a portable washing machine. Now, um, I'm just showing you how I did it and you know walking through it so this is me washing the fleece bedspread now this is a full size slash queen size I'm pretty sure you can wash a king size but I do not recommend it because a king size fleece bedspread will not fit into the spinner I had such a hard time putting this fleece bed spread into the spinner I mean and I know for a fact you will not be able to fit a king size bed spread inside the spinner now I just wanted to show my agitators that I use I, I was recommended by another FDW portable wash machine owner to get me some agitators to throw inside my washing cycle now um, you don't need to throw these into your rinse cycle because a rinse cycle is just to rinse unless you want to, but uh, I only recommend these inside your wash cycle if you really want to get your clothes or bed spreads clean, towels, sheets, you know, you know the drill. So I'm just showing right here, I'm showing these are comforters. And um, one of these covers is a fox fur uh, cover. It's really big. It's not a comforter. I don't know if you would call it a comforter, but these are comforters. And um, they are all queen size comforters. And you will not be able to fit these comforters into your washing machine. So I really want to make that clear that you will need to take your comforters to a um, laundromat if you don't have a full-size washing machine so here again is my fleece uh, bed spread washing I just wanted to show how dirty it was just to show that um, I really was conflicted on putting this into the washing machine because I was like I'm really not trying to take this to the laundromat because it just doesn't make sense so basically right now I am finished washing the fleece spread spread and I'm going to start a rinse cycle now if you are a portable washing machine owner you know that we don't have rinse cycles Everything is done manually, so you have to wash your clothing items, and um, then you should let that water out, and then you should start a rinse cycle, meaning that you just fill the washing machine back up with clear water, like so, and, you know, let your clothes 
like you know start it like like up like this and then just let the soap detergent bleach all that stuff get rinsed out of the garment or the bedspread or the clothes whatever you want to rinse that stuff out because you don't want to leave detergents and chemicals in your clothing bedspreads and stuff like that because your skin can get irritated so make sure you do a rinse cycle and you do not need agitators in your rinse cycle because you you really don't and I just want to say with those agitators that I have they do make noise inside the machine but they're not damaging the machine just so you know so I'm just showing the rinse cycle. This is the rinse cycle right now. The water is still dirty and that just goes to show that you really need to rinse your clothes. Right here, I'm showing the mesh bags that I got from Amazon. That, that was again recommended to me by, not, by another FDW portable wash machine owner who told me I need to get mesh bags to use for my sheets and a large items because the items get tangled up inside of your portable wash machine and these are these are good for that type of stuff i think these are good for just for sheets but not towels because i used this with a towel and a towel did not get clean and i'm so glad i realized that because um i do not want to put my clothes in the machine and they do not get clean so those are very good for just sheets and stuff like that but like you know small clothing items and stuff like that but not for towels i wouldn't recommend a mesh bag for a towel because you need to let your towels get clean and i that's just my reaction i, I didn't have a good experience with that so okay now i'm just showing you guys um, for people who are interested in getting a portable wash machine, this is how small the portable wash machine is. As you can see, this is my whole bathroom and it fits right inside my bathroom. I'm using my shower, uh, my shower head. I have, I mean, if you have an extendable shower head, an extendable shower head is perfect for a portable wash machine. These are for people who live in small apartments, college dorms. And you know you don't want to share um washing machines yeah so you don't want to share a washing machine and stuff like that or you don't even mind sharing but you just can't you just don't have access to a washing machine within your living quarters you don't want to go all the way to the damn laundry mat um these portable washing machines are perfect for you so here is the ultimate the ultimate thing we've been waiting for can this fleece bedspread fit inside of this spinner we are going to find out now you see how hard it is how hard it was for me to put this damn fleece this is a queen size full size full size slash queen size this is not even a full 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 queen size this is a full slash queen size fleece blanket okay and I was really pushing it down, y'all. I was pushing it down to get it in there. And I got it in. I finally did it. And I finally um, was able to spin it. Now, can you imagine if I wasn't able to get that in there? That thing would have been soaking wet. I wouldn't have been able to wring it out with my hands. I would, I would have just had a dripping big old fleece cover hanging around the house somewhere you know that's dripping water and um i would have just had to try my best to wring it out with my own hands but luckily for me i was able to use a spinner and that's why i said i wouldn't recommend recommend a king size because i i do not think a king size is going to fit in this spinner this is a queen size right here so i was lucky to be able to get it in there and to get it wrung out and i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> something amazing after this as you can see how big it is how long it is how tall it is and i'm pulling it out and it's it's not completely dry but it feels it feels a little damp it feels a little little wet but it's 
it is not dry and I'm just going to show you I'm just showing you guys the size of it you know what I'm saying so um I did well I'm just gonna give say good job to my little portable wash machine <laughs> I was so happy to wash that little cover because actually and this is the water this shows you how dirty this is the rinse water this shows you how dirty that damn thing was but I actually forgot it when I went to the laundromat and I was like, dang, I don't want to go all the way back to the laundromat just to watch one little comf one little bedspread, you know? So I said, you know what? This thing is going to have to fit in that little portable washing machine because I'm not going all the way back to the laundromat. So I was successful, guys. I was able to wash it. Now I'm just going to show you guys. Um, this is one hour later between one and two hours later after I washed it I hung it up on my laundry rod now I got this laundry rod and this other little pink um, hanging laundry rod I got that from Amazon everything I got from Amazon and um, I love it um, I hung this on there within an hour it was dry like this bedspread is completely dry now I don't want to I didn't want to take it down and fold it and nothing like that because I felt like listen I just put it up an hour ago and it's already dry like no I'm gonna wait at least 24 hours so it's amazing this laundry rod because it does dry your clothes pretty fast and this is placed right in front of my window so I guess and I had the window open so I guess because I had the window open you know it dried really fast so and I'm just showing you guys that this thing is completely dry like it feels like it's completely dry it's loose but it did a great job thanks for watching guys peace out